Hi everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. I'm Jo and today I'm going to show you how to do this super fun twist back hack for the Dublin Dolman. There's no need to do any pattern work yourself. You can just download the twist back pattern from our Facebook group. This is my front piece and I cut this using a projector so I don't have a paper pattern. But let's pretend for a second that this is my paper pattern. The first thing you're gonna want to do is raise the neckline a bit to account for the neckband that we won't be using. So mark one inch up from the actual neckline on the pattern and use a French curve or just freehand it and draw a new neckline starting from the shoulder point. Just make sure that the new neckline is perpendicular on the center front for about a quarter of an inch, six millimeter or so to, to make sure the, the neckline is going to be round when you open the pattern piece. So after you marked the new neckline, you can go ahead and cut the pattern piece. After cutting both pattern pieces, I'm going to serge all the edges that are going to be hemmed. This includes the neckline, the bottom hem, and the sleeves. And for the back, I'm going to serge the neckline, the sleeves, and the bottom. This will help us to create a narrow hem because it will give us a little something to stabilize the edges. So I've searched the raw edges and now I'm going to turn the hem twice for about a fourth of an inch and sew it down. You want to turn it up once and then turn it up again and then sew it down. You want to do this for about half on the bottom and half on the top, not all the way around. So you take the edge, you turn it once, and then you turn it again. And then you fiddle with it a little. <laughs> and then you stitch it down. Just make sure it's about a quarter of an inch, like so. Um, a neat trick to make sure this is a fourth of an inch overall is to use some um, wash away tape. Uh, this also stabilizes the edge, so it's gonna be much easier to sew. I'm uh, going to find some uh, tape and show you what I mean. So this is the tape. I'm going to cut a little because I'm mostly freehanding this. I just want to show you how to do it in case you need a little bit more help. So you take the tape and you place it here on the outside edge and align it it's gonna be a little bit more difficult on the curved edges but you can just cut on the tape so you can bend it around the curve you remove the protection film Fold it once and then fold it again. I'm going to turn this around so I can show you better. Careful with this because it's super sticky and then you have to unstick it if it folds the wrong way. Okay, so here it is. It's a little more than a fourth of an inch here. So I'm going to redo this bit. Okay. And now I'm going to stitch it. You do want to stitch from the outside because it just looks better. But you can sew from the inside if you don't think you can grab the inner edge. I'm not going to backstitch here because I would like to um, intersect this stitch line when I come back and sew everything else and I, I'd just rather have not, I'd rather not have 
a lot of stitching there. I'm using a narrow a fourth of an inch foot because it's just a lot easier to sew um, close to the edge like this. And I just sew a little bit, then I turn a bit more in front of my presser foot and then I sew a bit more. You can just fiddle with your finger and see if the, the edge goes beyond the ne needle so that you catch it when you sew. If you enjoyed this video this far, please consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribing so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. So after you have the middle part on uh, the back, we're going to create the twist. So grab the left side or the right side, whichever you want, and twist it until the wrong side is facing up again. It should look something like this and you'll have a twist in the middle and now you can go ahead and sew the side seams and the shoulder seams to the front I've sewn the front and the back together and now we're going to continue hemming where we left off so this is why you didn't hem everything uh, in the first go because when you get, get to the shoulder seam you need to be able to bend the edge and then sew it. If we would have hemmed in the first go, you would have just had to sew the shoulder seams with the hem uh, already turned. So now you can go and continue where you left off and sew the neckline, the hemline and the sleeves. The last step you need to do is to attach the back strap. So take your strap piece and fold it together like this. and serge the raw edges together. You're then going to attach it to the back so that it holds the top on your shoulders and it doesn't slide down. Take your top and lay it with the back facing up and with the wrong sides um, facing you and mark 2.5 inches from the shoulder point on both sides. You're then going to take your strap and pin it down where you marked. Make sure the strap isn't twisted and go and stitch it in place. Thanks for watching, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. See you next time!